poker player, essentially, um, you know, I think that the, the skills required, obviously you have to have a grasp of math and, and probabilities. You have to have some sense of game theory, regardless of whether you can actually um, express it in an academic way. Uh, you still have to have some grasp of game theory, you know, that it, you're not playing a single hand, that you have to worry about how opponents are going to perceive you in the future, how they're going to react to you in the future. You have to have um, what we call a lot of heart, which is the ability to not only understand what the right play is, but be able to follow through with it, which, which seems like a very trivial point, but it's our, probably the biggest point. Because a lot of times what happens to people, sort of what separates the good from the great, is that the good know the right answer, but they don't follow through with it because it's, it's too scary or they're putting too much at risk or whatever it is. Because they don't have that confidence that it's okay because while there might be some variance to the play and you might lose this particular hand, mathematically it was the right choice, so over the long run it will work out. And they're a little bit too afraid of losing right now. Um, uh, one of the things that I say to students that I have is that most poker players spend much, much too much time worrying about whether they have the best hand. And what great players worry about is whether they can win the hand enough of the time, uh, which is a totally different way to think about it. And that's what really makes a great poker player is understanding it's not about winning right now, it's about making the right decision so that you win in the long run and being willing to follow through with that. You also have to be, I think, uh, a very good reader of people or at least a reader of bets and understand patterns and be a very good pattern analyzer. So that's kind of all the things that have to do with the poker playing. But that's not what makes you a successful poker player. You have to have those skills and uh, be able to beat the game. And you can be anywhere from good to great in order to be a successful player. Um, as long as you're better than the game that you're playing in, you can be successful. What makes a successful poker player is someone who manages their money really well, who understands that you have, you know, what the bankroll requirements are to be sitting in a certain game, how much money you can risk in a certain game, uh, and also who has a lot of control over the emotional aspect of the game because uh, poker players lose a lot because there's variance to the game, so you don't win every single hand. And being able to emotionally handle the losses and not allow those effect to affect your play going forward is actually one of the key components to being a successful player because, you know, what I say to people all the time is that there are lots of players out there who have more talent in their pinky than I have in my whole body for the game, but they're broken, I'm not. Um, and that's really what it comes down to is that you work with the skills that you have, you recognize the games that you should be playing in, you play in games that you're better than rather than vice versa, which would be an ego-driven choice to to, to think that you should be playing against people who are better than you are. And then you manage your money well and you manage your emotions well and that will make you a successful poker player whether you're only good or great.